So proud of you. So proud. Thanks. What the devil? Knievel. Sister Charity, you haven't changed a bit. You look just as pretty as a picture. Now, none of your blarney. What do you mean by coming here in the middle of the night, waking these children out of a sound sleep, arriving uninvited and unannounced? Sister, I promised I'd be here. Every one of you, back into your beds instantly. And you, Mr. Knievel, I'd like a little word with you. See you later. Bye. Darn you, evil. You could have waited till tomorrow. Tomorrow would be too late. I have to be in Los Angeles. I know. That case, I forgive you. By the way, I didn't forget your favorite fudge I picked it up in New York. Here, enjoy. Oh, you're wicked. You know I'll get fat. Don't worry. Nobody will notice. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Evil. Thank you, Sister Charity. Evil. God bless.
can't put up seats on the infield. It'll block the north exit. Are you blind? We've got an exit right there. Yeah, but if there's an emergency, you need more than one way for the people to get out. Don't talk back to me, punk. You were hired to put up those seats. Do it or I'll get someone else. Get lost. Hiya, pal. Hi, pal. Hey! You're through trying to get evil killed. Killed? Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Evil needs more room. No will bleach your seats on the field at the last jump. What's the matter with you? Evil is my pal, too. Oh, sure he's your pal, as long as he fills your pockets with blood money. Look, I'm going to give you odds that you're going to have seats on the infield. If you do, I'm going to make killing wood out of him. I'm going to make killing wood out of you. Get oh. your paws off of me. The stadium owner sold those tickets, not me. Rod Lyer, I checked it out. Well, Ben, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You kick that gorilla off me, or I'll get somebody that'll handle it for me. What's the matter with you, Will? Now you're picking fights. Well, you don't even know what happened. It doesn't make any difference what happened. You can't straighten it out out here. We've got a lot of work to do. Come on, let's get with it. Okay. I'll go see what's in the treasure chest for the kids. Last night. Hey, but what's your comment on that big jump Jesse Hammond made down Tampa? Jesse who? Hey. <laughs> a lot of people think Jesse's pushing you hard for the number one spot. Right. Look, Jesse's a fine kid and he's a good jumper. But if you're not Knievel, you're not number one, right? right. Mr. Knievel, can I tell you what to write? Honey, I've known what to write to pretty girls like you ever since I was in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's some ring. Is that a diamond? No, those aren't diamonds. What are they? It's a portable television set. Tune it in on your favorite channel. busting in like this and taking away my play. Well, don't mention it. It was easy. You must dig making enemies, miss. Well, me? And, uh, I'm no miss. Well, when you're a missus, then you dig making enemies. Wrong again. It's Ms. M.S. Oh. That makes you one of them. Hmm. Makes you one of those. I'm just a man doing my own thing. Are you, uh, a woman or a Ms.? Mr. Knievel, chances are you'll never know. What makes you think I'd like to find out? Boy, you take every edge you can get, don't you? From what I've seen of the local competition, I think I started here with an edge. As a matter of fact, you might call it a downright unfair advantage. You're one of the biggest blowhards I've ever heard. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Wait a minute. Now I know. I said I was out late last night. You're Kate Morgan. The fearless photographer. So they sent the chump out to shoot the champ. You are going to see a great jump, honey. Miss, or should I say, Ms. Well, you know what? You're still wrong. I'm not here to shoot you jumping. My editors wouldn't let me waste film on that. My assignment, Mr. Knievel, is to shoot you in case this is your last jump. Well, I'm not going to quit. I didn't mean that. Boy, you're real cute, aren't you? OK, kids, let's get back to what we were doing. Evil, please have my autograph book. Evil, please have my autograph book. Here we are, 
Be careful now. Don't hey, run Evil, is that the same bike you're using in the big Evil, jump? Same one. Yeah, I'm going to jump some lions with it. Where's your hometown? Montana. Honey. When Montana. are you going to fly over the canyon again? I never lost anything in the bottom of the canyon. I'm not going back there. But yes. I How's was. your physical condition? Super. When did they first start calling you Evil? Honey, I was such a good little boy, they nicknamed hey, me yeah. Evil. Excuse me for just a minute. Here comes my caddy. We've got some business to take care of. We'll be right back. Excuse us for just a second. All right, kids, watch out on that, will you? Eva, are you going to give us another statement for the pro? Give us, one, give us I a I will. I will when I come out. Just keep printing the papers, boys. I'll be there. Think your pal Will's reached the end of the line. Hey, Will and I travel together, and we got a long way to go. Not with him. He's a drunk. You better get rid of him before he gets you killed. No harm will ever come to me on account of Will Atkins. He'll finish you off without even half trying. Him and a bottle. Ben, the clock stopped for that guy ten long years ago. But up until then, he was the greatest motorcycle jumper in the world. Right now, he's the greatest boozer in the world. You still don't understand. Everything that I know, that guy taught me. When I'm out there jumping, the crowd should be cheering him as well as me. <laughs> What's the count? 42,005, half your advance. The same guarantee you asked for, you got it. You're a little short, aren't you? Short? <laughs> count it yourself. I counted it twice. No, it's all there. What about the money you owe me for those bleacher seats you sold I haven't been paid for after the last jump? What is this? Judgment Day? That's over right now. I am good and sick and tired of having rocks thrown at me. I've taken just about all I'm going to take from this outfit. First, that falling down booze hound buddy of yours braces me off, and now you. Well, back off, mister. You're not my judge and jury. I didn't kill anyone. So you didn't kill anybody, but you stole from me, promoter. All right. You want out? Get out, right now. I didn't say anything about out. I, I, I don't want out. No, sir. No, sir. I don't want out. Look, look. We, we got to jump. We're all ready. We're all set. Look, I got no complaints, Abel. No complaints at all. I swear I'm, a, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. OK, happy man. Make me happy. Pay me what you owe me. No pay, no evil. Okay, okay. All you, all you gotta do is, all you gotta do is ask. That's all. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah. One, two, three. It wasn't a sellout, you know. Well, I see by the papers your friend Evil Knievel has made a deal for another record-making jump at another record-making price, $85,000. <laughs> yeah, I saw the papers, Mr. Millard. Hey, Jesse. I'm the number one sports promoter. You stick with me, I'll make you the number one bike jumper. <laughs> what, is that a promise? That's a contract. All right, I like that. Where? Now, you start tonight. That's the beginning. We go from there. All right, good as done. How'd you make out? Here, the blow-ups. Yeah. Does this Jesse know anything about our plans? He knows about his part of the plans, helping us get evil down to Mexico. Well, I'm still against him making our deal with Knievel. He double-crossed evil once. I think they're gonna take his butt and kick it right out of there. No way. I've studied Knievel. He's a big man. He doesn't hold a grudge. He forgives and forgets. Jesse was once his best friend. I hope you're right. We've got an awful lot riding on this thing. We got more than a lot. We got everything. What about the bikes? Well, basically, they're uh, standard Harleys. They've made a few minor gearing changes, but nothing we can't handle. Yeah. What about the truck? Well, they've got gold leaf lettering here, uh, custom doors, custom windows, special wheel covers. The big problem is the interior matchup. I'm taking care of that problem tonight. What's our total investment so far? Well, this is the easy part. 50000 give or take a few dollars. The big money is in paying for the merchandise. $3,600,000. Well, 
Yeah, it is a little high. So I spend a little more than I figured. I make a little more than I figured. How about the trailer? You should be here any time. Barton's bringing it in. Yeah. Changed. I bet you've been out here. I guess doing my job evil depends on me. That's something you wouldn't know about, dependability. Well, you don't mean that time when Evil and I were touring and I split. The word is quit. Oh, Will, come on. I was new, just starting out. You know, I had a better offer. Besides, it was a long time ago. Not for me. It was just like yesterday. Well, then I tell you what, we could drink it tomorrow. What do you say? But you still keep it in the same place. So if you think I'll buy it a while? Yeah, I thought about it. But if I did, what would you have to bitch at me for? Everything. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that sure hit the spot. Hey, give me some of that. Sure. There you go, pal. Where's evil? Just follow the crowds, Junior. Just follow the crowds. See you, Will. 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 For God's sakes, when are you going to stop trying to kill yourself? The bikes are ready. Yeah, but how about you? Look at you. You're trying to destroy yourself. If you don't believe me, here's a proof. I'm not going to let you commit suicide around me. I thought you were down in Florida doing great. Yeah, I was, but I tied into something a whole lot better up here. As a matter of fact, that's what I came up here to talk to you about. Sure. I'll be around. Do me a favor. Let me borrow that helmet.
you doing out here today? Just messing around. Look, since you're doing a bike story, you ought to know what you're talking about. You ever been on one of these? No. Let's go for a ride. No, thank you. I have some equipment to check out today. You're a uh, chicken, huh? Sweet. Sweet? I guess the exciting part's the jump, huh? Where did you come from? I'm through with school. I graduated. Graduated? From what? Kindergarten? What do you mean you graduated? Our school only goes up to sixth grade. I'm, I'm ready for junior high now. Oh. Well, you still haven't answered my question. What the hell are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in summer camp or somewhere? Well, the school wrote you a letter asking about the summer, but. You never wrote back. Oh, well, I move around a lot. Sometimes letters get lost. So maybe, maybe I didn't get no letter, huh? Glad to meet you. Well, you, you get all messed up. You know, I work for a living. Please. Well, you're not gonna like it around here. No breakfast in bed. We make our own beds in school. Here. What's that? Scrapbook. Newspaper clippings. Oh, well, Eva likes to read about himself. They're about you. Here's 
where he jumped in New York and... and he... That's where you were number one in Texas. I've been collecting things about you all my life, sir. Oh, forget it, like I did. It's ancient history. must be Tommy. I recognize you from your pictures. Boy, it's great to see you. Welcome aboard the SS Knievel. Glad to meet you, Mr. Knievel. Hey, evil to you, pal. What a surprise. Your dad didn't even tell me you were coming. Come on, Will, let's show Tommy around. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, I gotta do some work in the flight, son. Go ahead. Tommy, your dad takes great care of these bikes for me. He's the best in the world at it. That helps to take care of my life, too. Hey, wanna see my van? I think you'll like it. I've liked it ever since I read about it, Mr. Knievel. I mean, evil. Boy, this is going to be a great summer, Tommy. We're all going to be together now. This is. What's this? Some of the merchandise we got? That's a sample. Well, it would appear to be the real thing. <laughs> you better believe it. Now, don't forget, Jesse. When this is over, you're going to be number one biker. And you're going to be able to afford all of your pleasures, great and small. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Millard. <laughs> Checks. Oh, yes. Jesse, go to work. You'll be a millionaire. I think you should be handling it yourself. This way is better. He's not quick enough for these negotiations. He's our best chance. Knievel likes him. He gave Jesse his first break in the business. This guy Millard wants to book us for a five-day tour down in Mexico. You draw a hundred thousand bucks a jump. Are you kidding? Let me handle you down there. I'll get you that much for the taco concession. Ben, you and I aren't hooked up for life. Don't be greedy. Too late to change. Listen, Evil, anybody can talk money, but Millard needs it. Here's five post-dated checks for $100,000 apiece. Yeah. Every time you do a jump, you cash a check. All there is to it. You're holding a half a million bucks right there in your hand, bud. Like I said, Jesse, it's a lot of bread. But your problem is Millard wants me right now. I made a deal with Ben for two more jumps. I gave him my word. What he says he'll do, he does. You heard the man, Jesse. You know Ben's a thieving little coyote. He'd sell the moon for a buck and a half. And if I stayed up 24 hours a day, I'd get my cut. Sorry. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you think about it, okay? Thanks. See you. No regards. Gentlemen, let me direct your attention to the far end of the track. That's the evil Knievel caravan. Trailers, vans, 
trucks with Evil's friends and his bikes. There's the sky cycle that almost carried Evil to his death at the Snake River. Almost. That gleaming white pickup with Evil's two favorite jump bikes is custom built. That's the only one like that in the entire world. You're looking at three million dollars worth of mechanical wonders on parade. You and I are lucky, ladies and gentlemen. They've turned away thousands of requests for tickets. Looks as though everyone in California wants to see Evil Jump. But right now, you couldn't get a grasshopper in this arena. Those lions and tigers, ladies and gentlemen, are not household pets. Each of those cats weighs several hundred pounds. And they don't like strangers on noisy motorcycles. As Evil will tell you, he can jump, but he can't fly. And there'll be nothing but air between Evil and those cats. So you're in on maybe the most dangerous day in Evil's life. Will the wind affect your jump today? No. You're going to help me. How far are you going to jump today, Evil? Just far enough. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's enough for right now. That's enough for right now. I'll see you all in just a little while. Good luck, Evil. The other photographers are over there. You're over here all by yourself. What are you, a loner? Well, I don't run with the pack. Never did, never will. Need to do vultures. Or eagles. Your reason for being here is a lot different than theirs. We all have our jobs to do, right? So you think today's the day I'm going to get it, huh? Hey, you said that. I didn't. Hey, Tommy. Great crowd, huh? Sure is, Mr. Evil. Hey, you. Evil. Evil. gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be with you here in Long Beach today and with my old pal Frank Gifford. You know, I see a lot of young people here in the stands today, so before I make the jump, there's something that I'd like to say to you that's been bothering me for a long time. I go to Indianapolis every year to see the Indy 500. I go there with friends to drive and race. Every year when they go there to qualify, they usually have to go as fast as they possibly can to get a front row position. They put nitro in their cars sometimes instead of the fuel that's intended to be in the cars so that their cars will go faster. And they do for five or ten laps. And then they blow all the hell. And you people, you kids, if you put nitro in your bodies in the form of narcotics so that you can do better, or, or so, so that maybe you think you can do better, you, you will, will for about five, five or 10 years. And then you'll, you'll blow all the hell. hell. You're, You're a wonderful, wonderful crowd. crowd. I'm, I'm glad that you all made it. And I'm gonna do my best to make it. Right across this jump. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, Will. Let's check the jump bike out. I already checked it out. Well, let me take a look at it here. These handlebars are a little high. Let's lower them. Okay. Hey, you got yourself a full-time job till school starts. Sometime? Forget it. I'm an ex-rider. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Evil Knievel attempting to jump a cage full of jungle killers as he tries for a new world record of 150 feet. Kids. He's my friend! Let me go! Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, please stay in your seats. seats. Please, please stay, stay in your seats. seats. Guys, we're in a hell of a fix. I need Knievel in Mexico alive. Get on the telephone. I want the best orthopedic and neurosurgeons in town standing by and available. Oh, Will. I'm here, Evil. I'm right here. Let's get him in the ambulance. Drop me up. No, you, you've got to go in the ambulance. Oh, I want to talk to the people. Please. No, he can't. He's hurt bad. Help me up, Will. Jesse. Come on. Oh. All right. Take it easy. Easy. Easy, baby. Yeah. Gotcha. Frank. Thanks, Frank. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. I, think I think you've probably, probably seen my, my last, last jump. jump. Now you can get the stretcher. No, come on. We walked in here together. Help me walk out. Chattel, Chattel. Take it easy. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Evil Knievel is walking out of the stadium. We don't know how seriously he is hurt. He told us he walked into the stadium. He was going to walk out under his own power. He took a tremendous crash. He was traveling at over, perhaps over 90 miles per hour. We don't know how seriously he is injured. We'll try and get a report on that a little later on.
Skyfall. Boy. It sure is good to wake up in a hospital. At least I know I'm alive. <laughs> Tommy, I'm sorry. This is sure turning out to be a bum vacation for you. Oh, I'd rather be here with you and Dad than anywhere else in the world. That's the best compliment that it's been to us in the month of Sundays. Evil, you mind if I ask you a question? Tommy, as far as I'm concerned, there's no secrets in this room. What is it? Have you changed your mind about never jumping again? Tommy, in every person's life, they have to come to, to grips with themselves. They have to know when they've gone far enough. Or like, like your dad. They've got to know when it's time to quit. But you're just not another person. You're evil can evil. Yeah. Sure felt good to get outside in that sunshine, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, it'll feel better when you get this back on. Oh, Come on. Easy, easy. Hey, listen, how about some orange juice, huh? Yeah, I could go for one of those. Evil, uh, have you thought any more about quitting? Thought about quitting? That's all he ever does think about. Yeah, let me tell you guys something. You know, I don't know what's the matter with me. I should have never said that I was going to quit. I really didn't mean it. You know, every time I fall off of that motorcycle, I think the pain in my legs or my back or my arms is, is what's telling my head what to say. Well, then maybe you ought to listen. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to ask you something. Have you quit liking money? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, come on now. Making that Mexican tour, man, it's, uh, it's just like being handed the keys to Fort Knox. All you got to do is take the money and run. Now, you think about that. OK. I'll, I'll think about it. All right, let me know, but it's got to be soon, OK? OK, Jesse. Thanks for coming over. Sure. Here. See you. Well, what do you think I ought to do? Look, Evo, there are a lot of good jumpers, and they do all right, too. Then they get hurt, and they quit. But not you. No. You crash, you burn, then you go at it again and again, and, well, I don't think you're ever going to change. You trying to tell me I shouldn't quit? Come on. I don't know. I'm not ever going to tell you anything like that. It's your life that's on the line. But I like, I want you to know that whatever you do decide, I'm with you. Huh. Hey, Will. Viva tequila. <laughs> Viva Carnival! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Come on in. Thanks. Hi there. Hello. I, uh, I just came by to see how you're doing. Thanks, miss. Sit down and take a load off. Okay. Got your rose. Hey, thanks. I won't stay long. Um... I have another reason for being here. What's that? Uh, we started out all wrong. And I didn't want it to end that way. So? Don't let it end. Have to. 
I'm flying out to cover that new revolution in South America. <laughs> Big deal. There's always a revolution in South America. I always take good pictures. You ought to stick around. I'm uh, going to make more noise than you've ever heard anywhere before. I thought you quit. Well, I changed my mind. In fact, uh, we just decided we're on our way to old Mexico. Well, why don't you call Frank Gifford and tell him to come along? Tell him it's uh, fiesta time. Check. Consider it done. Hey, miss. You, uh, you like Mexican food, don't you? Sure. But I can take it or leave it. Yeah. Governor of this state, I extend to you our warmest hospitality. You are quite a man, Mr. Canivo. And while you're in Mexico, this hacienda will be your house. Well, thank you. Viva. I've always heard that you were the warmest of neighbors, Governor, and I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> My sentiments too, Governor. Thank you very much. There are refreshments in the patio. Shall we? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's interesting. Don't you think so? Look, we've done enough yakking. We're late. Let's go. Wait a minute. Have you seen Tommy lately? You know, he's really having a ball. I think that uh, all kids must like to play hooky, even from their parents. Tommy doesn't have any parents. But you're his father. Only the birth certificate. Look, we've just driven 1,100 miles together. We've done a lot of talking. And you know what? You're not fooling anybody about your feelings for Tommy except yourself. And, mister, you ought to stop. You should have been a district attorney, lady. I would have won this case, Buster. I have followed all your exploits with great interest, especially that canyon shot in Idaho. Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. But you haven't seen nothing yet. Well, you see this jump here in Mexico. Come on, let's have some of your famous tequila. Excellent. Miss Morgan. Mr. Portland. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, Cheers. Good on. Will. Will, come on over. Fellas. Uh, Excuse me, please. I'd like you to meet Will. This is my pal. This is the guy that taught me everything I know about motorcycle jumping. Without him, the show doesn't go on. Will, this is the governor. So nice to meet you. My pleasure, Governor. Hello. How about I taking a, a picture of the champ, Will Atkins? Come on. Will. Will, what's the matter? Are you all right? Yeah, I felt a little woozy. But I... Are you sure? Are you sure you're okay? Come on, let's get some fresh air. Like I said, without you, the show doesn't go on. Fellas, excuse us for just a minute. We're gonna go take a look at the bikes. We'll be back.
Ramps look pretty good. Get that in a little tighter there. Don't want to have any accidents. Tommy, come on. I got to check the distance out between these ramps here. Three, six, nine, twelve. No, no, está bien. Tráeme los clavos. Yeah. Everything that I do today, Tommy, will help save my life tomorrow. I didn't know you had to do so much. Well, riding a motorcycle is serious business. In fact, I think it's about time you found out for yourself. Come on. get caught in this groove, he'll end up in the bleachers there. I want him to end up there. Brenda? See how happy. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? Like it? Wow, it's great. So you think you're ready to solo, huh? Yep, I remember everything you taught me. Except one thing. Where's your helmet? Here. Put this on your noggin. That a boy. All right. Now you're ready. <laughs> Now, look what you've done. Look what you've done! Hey, you. What's the matter with you? The first time you reach out to help that kid, you shake him out of his shoes. Look at that bike. The hell with the bike. Look at your kid. Who told him he could ride? I did. He hit the curb and fell off. That could happen to anybody. We can fix that bike. How are you going to fix what you're doing to this kid? Look, I told you once before, butt out! If I hadn't a butted in, Tommy wouldn't even be here. How do you think he got here? School sent him. Yeah, that's what you think. That's what I told him to say. I sent the money for the plane ticket. I figured that 10 years of blaming him for your wife's death at childbirth was long enough. Shut up. I figured when you first saw Tommy, you'd put your arms around him and be a whole new world for you. But no, not you. Now look, you pushed into my life just once too far. Stop it. All right. Stop it. You... Any way you want it, man. Stop it. Stop it. You ain't stop. You stop. Tommy, I left my equipment up in the stands. Please go watch it for me. Where do you get off telling anybody to be a parent, huh? One more minute, you'd have that kid running for the nearest orphanage. And where do you get off telling anyone to be a parent? All you've done since I've been here is try to convince Tom that you should have been his dad, not Will. Oh, what do you know about it? That's a lie. That's a fact. You've been so busy making his life one big chocolate malted, he hasn't had time to get to know his dad. Yeah. Shut up, you drop out. You said Tommy didn't have any parents. Well, you're right. I've had a front row seat at this ugly spectacle. And I want you to know something. I think you're both the worst. Real nothings.
just like a squirrel stashing away nuts. How many will it hold? 3,000 bags. Why are you using this trailer? Why don't you use Evil's rig? Come on with me. Take a look at the rest of it. Uh, you're not the plan, is Uh, well, there's no one is going to stop Evil Knievel's funeral procession from coming back across the border. You haven't answered my question. Why don't you use Evil's rig? Uh, it's taken a lot of time and money to get this thing built here. No way to get Evil Knievel's trailer and keep it long enough to do the job, so I'm having this duplicate built. Exact. Down at the paint shop. Okay. You got the money? Show them. You got 2,999 more bags of this? Delivered tomorrow as agreed. Then you get your cash tomorrow, as agreed. you sneaking into my room. You won't be needing these any longer. Please. Hey, what is this? Thompson, resident administrator. How are you? Fine, yeah. Where's Will? Right this way. He's among friends. You see, this is an American sanitarium, Mr. Kennedy. We're staffed by Americans, and we accept only American patients. Boy, you sound too good to be true. The police have finally recognized him from his news photographs. Contacted both you and me, luckily. Yeah, he's lucky, all right. Let me have Mr. Atkins' chart there, please. I had him brought here because I could trust Mr. Thompson to be discreet. All right, gentlemen, this way, please. What are you? Are you a doctor? No, I'm a therapist, but I have had extensive experience. I'm telling you, you're both dead wrong. I wish you were right, Evil. I felt the same way you did, so I had the local police check. This is a uh, proof positive, I'm sorry to say. It's a teletype of Will's arrest record in the States. I'm right over here, Mr. Keel. Let's look right through that window there. took an overdose of something. We uh, don't know what it was, but if we're lucky, you may come out of it. No way. No way. If he's been drinking, all right. But dope, no way. You saw for yourself. I've known this guy all my life. You can't tell me he's an addict. Well, Evil, here are the facts. The facts, hell. You'll have to show me more than that to prove to me that he's a junkie. And look, you, you're supposed to be the head honcho of this hacienda. You listen, and listen good. Whatever he wants, he gets, no matter what the cost. Do you understand me? Sure. You take good care of him. <laughs> well, what do you think? Out of sight. What a mean machine. That's a stratocycle, Jesse. I had it built especially for you. Buy 20 ordinary bikes for what that one cost. Go on, try it. Yeah.
still worried about Jesse? I bet you I could clear 200 feet with it, no sweat. How'd you like to try for the world's record in this fight? I thought Evil's doing the jumping, ain't that right? Well, if something should happen to Evil, and God knows he wouldn't want that to happen, but you'd be around to try for the top spot. Oh, Mr. Willard, if something happens to Evil, you know you can depend on me. Of course I know that. Well, no matter what happens with Evil, though, you're my top man from now on. Will you take the Porsche back to town for me? Sure. See you. I think he really wants Knievel's spot. I'm counting on it. Norman, get the bike. our ace, an exact duplicate of Knievel's jumping bike. has got to go flat the instant that Knievel has completed his jump. You saw it just happen. I mean, I can send this signal for more than a quarter of a mile, but I won't be more than 100 yards from point of touchdown. Does Jesse know about this? Well, you saw me send it back to town. He can't know about it. Hello. 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 Off, wasn't it? Okay, so we had an argument about Tommy at the stadium. Let's let it go at that. What'd you tell the kid about all this? It's a cinch I didn't tell him that you're a dope addict. That kid's your number one fan. Well, he'd take on the Supreme Court for you. Yeah. I... <laughs> Will. I know. I know. I know you think the world <laughs> of that boy. 
But you're gonna have to tell him yourself. <laughs> I'm sure gonna try. What's the matter? What have they done to you? I found some pictures in Jesse's room. They took shots at a trailer. Everything. Up, down, sideways, but everything. What does Millard want? All I know is he put me away. You're gonna have to stay here. What are you talking about? If you leave, Millard will know we're on to him. How long do I stay here? Just until after the jump is over tomorrow. Okay. Evil. What? Take care, Tommy. Well, I can. You bet I will. Tardies, ladies and gentlemen. That, of course, means good afternoon from down here south of the border. We're speaking to you from El Estadio del Sol, Stadium of the Sun. And as you've already seen on your screens, this fiesta time here in Mexico, this vibrant, excited, thrill-seeking crowd has turned out by the thousands for one of their favorite idols, Evil Knievel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess they love a parade the entire world over. And here it comes, this one being led by Mexican caballeros riding the finest horses this country has to offer. see my father well I'm uh, I'm afraid you'll just have to uh, be patient son he um, he has to regain his strength first can I talk to him no no I'm sorry but that that would be impossible you see he's he's undergoing a terrible ordeal can I just say hello well, maybe uh, maybe next week will you leave a message for me sure just say I love him They won't let you see him, huh? Did you find out anything? Nope. They won't let Tommy see Will. They wouldn't let me see him either, but I did last night. You did? How is he? Don't worry, Tommy. He's going to be OK. And as soon as this jump is over, I'm going to pay another visit to that sanitarium. I'm going to get him out of there. How? Well, you're going to have to let me handle that. In the meantime, don't you worry about it. That's the end of the parade, ladies and gentlemen, and you can feel the air of excitement start to build as this tremendous crowd eagerly awaits the entrance of Evil Knievel. Evil? Yeah? I want you to know something. What's that? All of a sudden, I hate my assignment. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't want to shoot your last jump. I don't want you to ever have a last jump. That's the nicest thing you said to me since I first met you. Thanks. You take care of yourself, you hear? Yeah, I will. Maybe now I'll have a better reason to.
Ladies and gentlemen, I've never felt anything like this quite before. There's electricity in the air here because this is Evil Knievel's first appearance in Mexico. turn this crowd into a personal cheering section. He'll need all the well wishes he can get today because he's jumping over 150 feet of blazing, burning fire. A mistake will cost him his life. Thanks, Tommy. That baby ready to go? Sure is. Well, it's time to get this show on the road. Can't keep the customers waiting. Time to go for broke. Helmet. Thanks. Yes, a llama is más de 100 pies. And that fire you've just seen is over 100 feet of flaming death. Evil is going to jump it in just his ordinary leathers. He just has to make it. I would like to discuss Jesse again. Go ahead. We're here in Mexico. We've got Knievel thanks to Jesse. But Jesse is a junkie. I don't trust junkies. Meanwhile, you go ahead and promise to make him number one jumper. I say we get rid of him. Take it easy. Jesse is finished. Norman, you'll take care of that. All right. What'd you say? End of the line, man. What are you talking about? You're supposed to be at the other end. No, I always have been before, but not anymore. Today it's my turn, my shot at the glory. I'm making this jump. <laughs> what are you talking about? Those people paid their pesos to see me jump. No way, man. I'm jumping. I've always known I was better than you. Today I'm going to prove it. Now you just get out of my way. Hey, you've been smoking something? You're high. Man, maybe you ought to get high. Hey, Millard wants to kill you, and your buddy Will, too. You know, he even thinks he's going to kill me. Why? Why would he do that? Millard only brought you down here for one purpose, and that's to take your body back to the United States as cover for about 50 million bucks worth of cocaine. Look, I got a jump to make. I've never seen Evil take this much time before a jump. El incomparable brincador americano todavía no ha aparecido. Something's wrong. You promised to be careful. Now watch the delay. I don't know. Take it easy. Riding towards triumph for tragedy.
that had to be one of the worst crashes evil ever has taken. Jess? Jesse. What is it? Jesse took the jump. Not evil. Jesse is dead. Well, how'd that happen? How the hell do I know? Maybe Jesse blew the whole thing to Knievel. Get to him before he gets to the cops. Right. And Norman, stop him cold. You get down there and get Will's kid. Get that dame with him, too, in case we need more leverage. Yes. is the Millard, that patient in solitary. I want him to have the most complete treatment you can give him. Yeah, I can handle that. Yeah, just dismiss him from your mind. <laughs> Almost finished. Good. Bring Jesse out. All right.
Hey, I'm seeing double. What's my lot after? Come on, let's take a closer look. against one. We need those bikes. We don't stand a chance unless we lower the odds. Get them in the back of the truck. Norman, get the rig hooked up. Evil's trailer out in the desert and lose it. We'll see you on the other side. Yes, sir. All set. Move it out. Okay. Move it. Get Knievel will do. When he finds out that Kate and Tommy are gone, he'll come after us. That's what I'm counting on. see me and draw them off. That way you can take care of those two goons in the truck. Right plan, wrong player. I'll take the Porsche. Yeah, and you'd be as good as dead. I know that. What choice do I have? I wouldn't have a chance against those two hoods in that truck. All right, look. Take this. That'll help even the odds. Go on, you can do it. Save my kid, partner. You bet I will. Hey, there's someone behind. 
find us. See what it is. It's Knievel. No, that's Atkins. Will Atkins. Drop him. Kill him. That's one down and one to go. Now let's get Knievel. not to stop for anything. I'll go take a look. about me, little guy. How are you doing? How are you doing? Huh? 
Are you okay? <laughs> I hate crimes. Did you get my dad out of the sanitarium? <laughs> sure I did. But your dad went after the porch so I could come down here to help you. Is he all right? Well, I think he's all right, but we're going to have to wait a while to find out. That's all I've ever done is just sit and wait. Don't worry, Tommy. He'll be okay. Look, you stay here. Tommy, I need a hand from you. I've got one of those goons down, and I want to make sure he stays down. Come on with me for a minute. Take care of your dad. Now, look, the both of you, you remember what I said. You stay behind the silk till I come back. You don't come out for anybody.
there by the rocks. I don't see anything. Right there. It's your imagination. No. Take care of, but uh, I didn't find Will. He's okay. Will found us. Hey, they finally found each other. Like we did. This is Frank Gifford speaking to you once again from sunny Mexico, where hopefully last week's disaster will turn into this week's victory. Coming down. 